Hello, welcome to my barn dominium here in the breezeway this afternoon. I'm artist equestrian Lainey Frick, and I am so pleased and proud to be a part of the Mary Beth Shaw Stencil Girl product line. As a horse person, I've designed some uh, horse images, horses and riders, and she's made them into some really cool stencils for you to use. So uh, I came up with a couple of projects, and I'd like to share that with you and try to in inspire your creativity. So this particular project, uh, I got inspired by a shirt I saw in a magazine, in a catalog, and it had an oriental design to it. So I followed that flair and used the stencils. So I used three of the stencils and worked on a rice paper. So I'm going to show you how I did this. And we're going to start with a blank piece of rice paper first. I think any brand could probably work, uh, so I just used what I had in the studio. And I used a raw umber, a fluid raw umber to start. I'm just going to pour a little bit out there. It doesn't take very much. And you want to use a really cheap, um, cheap, cheap brush from the hardware store um, because of the, the bristles. And you'll see why this works really well in a second. So I'm going to kind of take a squirt bottle and I'm going to just mist it a little bit and then dip this in a little bit of water. It holds a lot of water and you want to make a real soupy mess with it. I'm good at making a soupy mess. And then you just flick it. And that's how you get the, and the more paint you have, the, the bigger the splatters. I've got a little splatter going on here. You can actually squirt a little more water in there and it'll run around. So you can play with that. And that's how I got the background to look like I did. And you gotta let that dry quite a while. I have one here that's already prepped. And you can see I've used the rider, horse and rider stencil. And I'll show you how I got sort of this image. For that, you want a thick paint. I have a thick raw umber uh, in these little, I just mixed it up in this jar. They work really good to store your paint. And I'm gonna start first with the guy. And I'm gonna put him right about here. Oops, that's great. And a soft little brush like this works really good, dry. And so I just get a little bit of paint on the, on the very end. And I want him to be kind of faded. I want him to be in the background. So I'm just going to mist it a little bit. Knock off a little bit. And you're going to go real light. Um, a very light touch. And sometimes you can even go round and round with it. And it gives it a real distant look, like it's back behind. That's kind of what I'm going for here. And I'm not going to go all the way down. I'm just going to do part of it. You know, a lot of those oriental images, you could only see a subtle shape. So that's, you can see he's starting to show up, but he's pretty faded. So the girls, I'm going to put down here, they're going to be kind of riding in front of him. So I'm going to make them darker. So I want to use a little more paint. I'm not going to mist it. I'm going to start with the faces so that they're darkest. Um, they'll show up more. The darkest, dark, lightest light probably is going to show up more. Make his muzzle face. So you can see I'm not really trying to fill in the whole space. Just uh, You can go as dark as you want, as light as you want. And if you make the faces darker, they're just gonna show up more. So you can see, you could do the whole horse this way, horse and rider. It's always fun to ride with a buddy. You can do the ground if you want. I didn't for this project because I didn't see it in the oriental design. So like I said, I just followed it. Okay, so you can get the idea there. And you can see how they stand out a lot more than he does. 
And then to give the color pop, I used a yellow ochre and a pyrrole orange and a burnt sienna. And then you can just add the color in, in these places, and you can mix it up however you want to do it, and it's a lot of fun. So I hope you give it a try.